Okay, let's look at number 15, but be very careful. There's a trick um, that I myself fell for, and uh, we'll all have to be more careful. The thing is, um, number 15 looks very much like number 14 and number 13, but um, there is something different. You see that uh, we ha are given the partial area, the area of the sector. So you know we're going to do part over whole equals part over whole. That part is not different. OK. Um, here's the thing that's different. The partial area is 31.47, all right? It's the area of the sector. So notice, though, that we're talking about the blue area. Right, just like these other pictures, the blue area is the sector that we're given the area for. Okay, this blue, that's the partial area. This blue, that's the partial area. And this blue, even though it is uh, more than half the circle, this is the sector that we're talking about. Um, so that is the partial area. Now, when we do the partial degrees, it has to be the partial degrees that pertains to that sector. In other words, we need the degrees of the blue angle, not the degrees of the white angle. Okay, over here, 98, that's the blue angle, like, it's a, like we need it. So we use 98 over 360. Over here, we had the blue angle, 80. So we did 8 out of 360, 80 out of 360. But over here, they give us the white angle. The white angle is the wrong angle. So what we have to do before we do anything else is do 360 minus 51. OK, so that turns out to be 309. So 309, 309 degrees is um, the angle, you know, or arc measure, depending on what you want to look at, uh, of the blue area. So instead of doing 51 over 360, we really must do 309 out of 360. Let's see if that reduces. 309 out of 360. Okay, so 103 out of 120. Oh, let's finish this up. So down here, uh, we'll just put a giant A to represent the partial area, uh, the total area. So, um, like I said, we were going to reduce that. So I have 31.47 over the total area should equal 103 over 120. So when we cross multiply, what we have is 103A equals, and now I'm going to do 120 times 31.47. And I am getting 3,776.4. Okay, to get the total area, I will divide by 103. Okay, so if I do that, I get uh, 36.66. All right, that is the area. However, that is not the final answer. Because we have to look back and realize that we are being asked for the diameter, not the area. So we have to keep going. So here's what we do. I'm going to switch to blue. Um, now that we have the area, we can use the area formula. Area is pi r squared. So now that I've got this area, 
I can substitute that into the formula where it belongs. So this becomes 36.66 equals pi r squared. So of course I'm going to divide by pi and take the square root. So if I divide by pi on both sides, okay, that is going to give me 36.66 over pi is equal to r squared. But then we take that square root of both sides. So that's going to give me r equals, let's see, 36.66 divided by pi, square root of all that. Let's see here, square root 36.66 over pi. Okay, that gives me 3.42. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. But guess what? That's not the answer either. We're getting closer. First we found the area. Now we've got the radius. But that's still not what they asked us for. They asked us for the diameter. All right, but we know the very quick relationship between uh, radius and diameter. And we know that the, the radius is half the diameter or we know that the diameter is going to be double the radius. So the diameter should be two times this 3.42. So if I do um, two times 3.42, I am getting 6.84. So the diameter should be something pretty close to 6.84, and the units are meters. Okay, so that is like three different steps. First we had to find the area, then we plug that into the area formula to find the radius, then we doubled it to find the diameter. So you really have to pay attention to what they are asking you for. Okay, and remember the trick we had to watch out for on this one is that 51, notice we did not use the 51. 51 is not the shaded angle. We had to subtract from 360 to get this very large shaded angle to go with this large area. All right, that is it for number 15.